Well, essentially, we need to make sure because we have a revenue split model that we have a, an arrangement with the CDN that's cost effective. And because we're working with film studios, they want the most security in, in the entire world as far as content. So we need to make sure that it's secure. And then finally, we've got to really make sure that it's a really good end consumer experience. And when someone's paying for premium content, they, they get the quality that they want. The thing about current CDN te technology delivering uh, consistently is quite interesting. I was just speaking with a company called Conviva who told me that uh, they're doing something about CDN switching. So once one CDN stops performing quite as well, they can start distributing that, that technology across other CDNs or even lower the bitrate. So that tells me, and sort of looking at other things, where I know Netflix has got a number of CDNs, BBC has got four CDNs, all of that is telling me that there is some inconsistency in, in reliability, but there are people looking at ways to make that happen, make it a consistent consumer experience, even if the CDNs aren't behaving consistently. So CDNs are changing a lot at the moment because what we're seeing happen is there are other companies out there, for example, Amazon, who are saying, we're just going to have our own CDN. And there are even now small companies like SimpleStream that have decided that they want to deliver video content and they're going to build their own CDN to do this as well. So that in conjunction with sort of dropping prices of, uh, of CDNs means that CDNs are looking for other ways to try to find ways to make money. So some of them are doing things like, like transcoding, for example. Uh, and that's, that's changing the market a little bit because they're taking away services that traditionally belong to other areas. What I'd actually really like to see happen is if we can do something, say, around the DEC common file format and actually standardize the way of delivering content. So if you have one file with one ID and you could have it across all CDNs, that would reduce the number of files that are out there. It would uh, allow people to access that content from any CDN um, and to any different set of devices. So we will see over the next couple of years what happens and how things change.